What's up, y'all? Alvin here, and today we're gonna tie a half and half. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's a half and half? A half and half is half clouser and half deceiver. So sometimes a clouser doesn't uh, present a big enough profile, so you need a little bit longer fly. So you just combine the two and you get a nice long fly with lots of action that sinks well. Super simple, another one of those guide flies. <laughs> I got a whole list of them how to time right here. I'll throw a link up there. Let's get started. Materials wise, pretty easy. You need a hook. And today we're gonna use the uh, Gamagatsu B10S in a size one. All right, let's go ahead and put that bad boy in the vise. Crank it down, nice and tight. All right, so for materials, we will need a lead eye and thread, of course. Feathers, and I'm just using some cheapo strung saddle hackle, nothing fancy. Uh, bucktail, white. <laughs> Getting kind of low on my white bucktail, so I got a couple of them we're going to be scrounging hairs from. Uh, and bucktail of a different color, and we're going to go with the olive today. And we need some type of uh, body material, some kind of flash to go in between the tail and the rest of the, the fly. And for that, we're just going to use, this is like some generic flash, flashaboo uh, that I've found laying around. Don't even have the original bag, but it's like a uh, synthetic uh, hair dubbing. And we're just gonna wrap that around the midsection to give it a little bit more color. All right, we got our hook attached. So let's go ahead and put the thread on. I'm gonna start up at the eye of the hook come back like uh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Clip that off. Go ahead and attach our eyes. A few wraps that way, a few wraps this way. Then I'll go ahead and do my figure eights. Get them on there nice and tight. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and wrap the thread back even with the point of the hook. This is where we're going to attach our hackle. Now, depending on how much action you want to give this fly, you can tie on uh, two or more hackle, but you just want to put two on either side of, I mean, one on either side of the hook or two on either side of the hook. I'm just gonna put two. I'm not gonna get super, uh, super fluffy with this guy. So I'm gonna pick out two that are approximately the same size. Okay, so I've got two hackle. They're approximately the same size. And once again, two schools of thought. You can put the hackles so that they splay out like that and kind of kick in the water or you can put the hackles so that they're facing each other and it gives it more of a kind of a flat silhouette, more of a bait fish. I'm gonna go with facing each other this time. If you saw my uh, seducer video, you saw that I had the, the hackles splayed out. Um, for instructions on how to tie the seducer, boom, right there. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead lay them together and I'm just going to tie them on both at the same time. Wrap it up just a little ways and then I'm going to clip that off. I 
like so. And then I'll kind of come back and tweak these guys, pinch them together, and use that thread to got to get them to lay the way I want, so like so. Then we're going to add that uh, dubbing, that flash material. This is going to be the body of the fly in between our hackles and our clouser that we're going to tie on the front of it. So I'm just going to take a few strands of this stuff, tie it in. You can uh, wrap it forward by itself, but I'm actually going to twist it around my thread and wrap the thread and these fibers forward together just to give that a little bit more durability. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my rotary function on my vise <laughs> and wrap this. And I've got more than enough to go forward, so I'll just wrap it back, come forward again, use all that up. It gives it a nice full body there. Uh, if you want to make it look nice, you can trim some of this extra stuff off, but I'm just going to leave it. All right. Now, basically, we're just going to tie a clouser over the top of that. So I'm going to get my white deer hair, my white bucktail. Let me see if I can find enough white bucktail to actually tie this fly. Like I said, it is time to resupply. But that should get it done. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of these short guys. You can see I've got a little bit of the brown in there. I'm really not too concerned about that. Uh, I'm going to lay that there and judge my distance, maybe make it a little shorter, maybe make those buck, those uh, deer hair fibers in at about maybe the middle of that hackle. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it off. Lay that down. Go ahead and tie it off the front of the eyes. And I'll come back and just tie it down behind the eyes, like so. All right, we're almost done with this thing. <laughs> uh, just another quick and easy guide fly. All right, I'm gonna get my olive. As in most, uh, the streamers we tie, we tie the lighter color on the bottom and the darker color on top. And that's because most fish are going to be lighter on the bottom and darker on the top. It's a camouflage mechanism. If a predator is looking up at a prey fish, the lighter bottom is more likely to bend, blend in with the sky. And then once again, if a predator is looking down into the water, on top of a fish, the darker top of the fish is more likely to blend in with the bottom. So that's why most of your fish, bait fish, are gonna be lighter on the bottom, darker on the top. A little fun fact. <laughs> anyway, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all these short hairs. Don't need all that. And then we'll lay that on top, kind of judge the length. It's about what we want. Trim that. Lay that down. Get that kind of even with the eye of the hook. And just wrap it down. Get it nice. And that is it. Throw a whip finish on there and we're done. Always do 
two whip finishes just in case for whatever reason I decide not to put head cement on it. But I'm going to do two whip finishes and I'm going to put head cement on it. <laughs> All right. And as always, I use my favorite head cement, which is this uh, Loon UV Cure stuff. I like being able to put it on there, hit it with the UV flashlight, and it's done. All right, that's all there is to that one. Another super effective, down and dirty, quick and easy to tie guide fly. I've caught uh, lots of nice bass on this one. This is a great one when you're fishing in the salt and you need to get something down a little bit deeper, like maybe you're uh, blind casting in a channel somewhere. Um, I've caught redfish on it. I've caught speckled trout on it. I've caught black drum on it, uh, largemouth bass, Guadalupe bass, stripers, pretty much any predator fish that eats bait fish. So yeah, another killer pattern. And you saw how easy that was to tie. All right. If you like that, give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out some of my other tying videos. And as always, good luck on the water.